to show you here today is a way to get some family photos on onto an Echo Show. Now it's pretty easy if you have the Echo Show in your house, not so easy if it's in your mom's house. So if it's in your house, especially under your account, you just go into settings, wallpaper and clock. You're probably now running something like this, nature where it was set up. But if you pick Amazon Photos, you can pick any albums that you've cr uh, created under your account or this Alexa Photos app, which is, another, uh, which is another way to push photos over there. So I'm going to show you how to remotely change this. But just, just for right now, I'm going to pick just this so you can see what it looks like. So we've got the time, date, the pictures. It'll rotate through rather slowly. and um, But you can push them to her. Now, I won't include all the details of how to do this, but I'll link a document in the description that gives you step by step. So you'll see she'll still get the rotating home content there. Okay, so the next one you'll see now is how to do this uh, uh, remotely as it steps through there. I'll change it back so you'll see I'm not doing anything here. Let me just swap it back real quick. And that is, uh, I had it on, let's say, nature. And we're back to nature. Okay. Step one coming up, what it is using uh, Amazon Alexa app photos. Okay. This is the simplest one to implement. It uses the Alexa app. I'm logged in in the Alexa app as my loved one, not as myself. So therefore, when I touch devices, I can see her device, which is at another location, a different Wi-Fi. And I tap it. And now what I do, as you can see, it's just showing seasonal backgrounds. They're nature, I think. I go to home screen background. Upload photos. And now it wants me to choose some photos. Let me just, uh, I had some here. I was, I'm thinking maybe this one. And you see it turned that on there. It should show up there right away, but sometimes it takes a little time. Here, let me put another one. Um, another car she might like here, maybe that. Okay, oh, there we go. It's, start, it's starting to show up. So that'll be rotating around through those auto photos, and it'll put the background, up, uh, put the overlay on there, whatever she's got set for home content, content like weather. So that's the simplest one. The problem is you need to log in as your loved one on your phone to do the transfers. Um, I've got ones that are easier for you to use that I'm going to show next, but they're harder to set up. Okay, and this time I'm going to show you the one that's easier for you to use. There's a one-time setup in it, and I go into details in the description. There's a, be a link to the document. But let me just show you. So you go into your own, you log into Amazon Photos, your own own account and look at sharing. And notice I've got some groups here. Here's one that I've created with some fam some family pictures here, and I can add and delete and all that. But what I want, what I want to show you is a group name. It these are shared with these people. So that's my loved one here and another fam another family member, Cal, who who can also add to this group. So now that group is set up and what I want to show you is this is a one-time thing you need to do. You need to log in to mom's account again here, uh, get her device one time only. And we're going to, I think you know where I'm going, uh, home background. And this time instead of uploaded photos, 
I go into more collections and guess what here's that demos one that I had I save it you can add multiple ones if you want but this is a one-time only thing where you have to connect that then once it gets transferred there she'll start to see those photos in the background uh, for demo purposes here it might take a little time um, just back up and see yeah there to go so you can see now we're getting some of my my brother there asleep when he's supposed to be working and a birthday party thing i think we got when we were kids anyway this after you set it set her echo show to point there that's all you have to do now you can just stay in your own amazon photos account and add photos and delete photos and your Family members can also do that. If you've been looking for a way to share family photos with your mom and she already has an Echo Show, I want to show you a way that you can do that. This works well if you're already um, doing video calls with her because you have her as an Alexa contact. So if you looked inside of Echo Show under Home Content, you may have seen in passing this setting for called um, shared with you now I've turned that on and off a few times and I've never seen anything but I want to show you how to make that work so I've got it enabled here it says photo share with you on Amazon photos well how to get the photos over there right so let's just put this back on home. Now let's go over to your phone. I'm going to start the Alexa app and communicate. This is why you have to have her as a contact. And what I want to show you, a button that you may not have used before. See this share? If you tap that, you can bring up either your camera, if you just want to take a picture there, your photo gallery. And here's a bunch of photos I have on my phone. So let me just pick one of them here. Let's say I pick, oh, this one. And now, if my mom is a contact, if she's not, I have to add her and I have to set up Alexa calling. But let me just pick her. And I say share with that contact. She gets this kind of message. It doesn't actually display it right then. I also want to show you here on this side, uh, before we go much into her, I've sent her a bunch of them here. You can see, you can only send one at a time, but they can accumulate. You can also uh, delete them if you want to. But you can also see her reaction to some here, where she was happy or whatever when she got them. So let me show you, um, let's go and see what she would see. So nothing really happened there. We're going to let this run a while and see if that home um, content setting pops up here. Since she didn't answer right away, yes, you see that it says I've shared a photo. Okay, so now she can speak to Alexa and say, Alexa, what's my shared photos? Here are your photos from Frank and you. Okay, and she's got that one there. She could say, well, I like it. So I'll do that. That'll send me a response back here that she liked it and when I could look at that. Here she's stepping through some other photos. It automatically plays them. Or she could do this, you know, say, ah, I don't know. What is that, right? So... This works if you have Alexa contacts. Now, they are really, the photos are stored in Amazon Photos. So let me find that here. Uh, here. And now, if you go down to sharing, here are the photos that I've shared with her. And I could delete some if I wanted to, you know, if I say, well, she really, she really didn't like that. So I could delete that. 
uh, removed from group. So she won't see that one anymore on her screen there. So the thing is, um, it's not a like a photo frame kind of thing. It's more of a on-demand kind of thing. So, so at any time, Alexa, go home. She could say that to get out of it, or when it's gone through all the photos, it'll stop. But if any time she wants to see the photos again, she can just say, Alexa, Alexa, show me my shared photos. Here are your photos from Frank and you. And that's all there is to it. So if you don't have Alexa calling set up, that's a little bit of a problem. I'll put a link in the description to explain how to do that. And of course, you need Amazon Photos. You don't have to use them as a source for photos, but that's where they get stored once, uh, once you share them.